Right, hi there guys. Um, so I'm not in school today, sorry about that. But what you're going to be doing is creating a quiz in Microsoft Excel. So when you start off, obviously load up Microsoft Excel. You need a blank one for this. And you're going to be formatting the spreadsheet so it doesn't look like a spreadsheet anymore, that looks like a quiz. And as you can see, here's my quiz, that, here's one I made earlier. Um, we want the quiz to be based around pictures and the pictures need to be something that you can ask a definitive question for so for example here I have a picture of a very nice waterfall and I've asked what is the name of this waterfall here I've got a picture of a actor dressed up as a character and I've said from which film is this character okay so they need to be relevant pictures that we can ask a definitive question from we don't want any um opinionated questions like who is the best footballer or something like that so good pictures um you need to download all of these pictures so you need to use microsoft you need to use google chrome or um, mozilla firefox so if you want to maybe pause this video and then go back and then come back to this after you've saved eight images into your folder that'd be great okay so to set up a spreadsheet like this, um, it's going to look slightly different for you but because I'm on a Mac, but um, the controls will look the same, so it should be fine. So I'm just going to highlight the area that I want to make my first question from, and I've gone five cells across and 30 down. I'm just going to change the background colour using this paint bucket, and I'm going to have yellow, and there's my background for one question. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, as you can see from my finished one, I need five boxes. So to get my boxes I'm just going to highlight again a small area I'm going to change the background so I know where it is I'm going to set a border and I'm going to wrap the text and merge and center the wrap the text means that if you wrote too much it will go into two lines the merge and center means that this is now all one cell rather than several different cells so I'm just going to do that again so I'm just going to actually copy that so format so you can see there I've got that I need a slightly bigger one underneath here because as you can see from my finished one, uh, that, this is where the picture is going to go. So I'm just going to put border, blur, merge and wrap. And I'm just going to copy this again, so format, click down here, OK. And then do it once more and click down here, OK. You see that went a bit far, so I'm just going to uh, add a bit more to my background. So there's one question. I don't need that one. So if I need to get rid of any, I'll just go to no fill. So there's one question. Okay. Now we don't want to spend all of our time doing that because that takes too long. So you can copy and paste this. So Control C, Command C on the Mac. I'm just going to paste it. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the colours. So obviously we need some definition between them. So I'm just going to change this background to red. And then I'm going to change these to a different colour, not really sure what yet, but I'm going to do that colour, okay. And then you can do that until you've built up all eight boxes. Now what I do want to show you, because you can do that without my help hopefully, what I do want to show you though is how to do the formula. So there's some formula in here, you can see this says incorrect. The reason it says incorrect is because there's no answer. If I type in here social network, it will now tell me that I am correct. So we need some code in here, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to insert a picture. Obviously pause this if I'm going too fast, that's why we're doing a video. But if I go insert and picture, again this will be the same on yours. I'm just going to pick uh, Victoria Falls. There's the picture, I have to resize it just a little bit. Okay, so if I put in here question one. Uh, which waterfall is this? And then in here, I need to leave that blank because that's where the user is going to put their answer. But in here, I'm going to put my code. Now, hopefully, you all know that all formulas start with equal. So I'm going to go equals if, and I'm going to open brackets. And you see here, Excel is trying to help us out. So the first thing that we need is a logic test. A logic test is us telling the if statement where to look and what the correct answer is. So I'm just going to click in there. So that's where they're going to type their answer. And I'm going to say equals, and in speech marks, I'm going to put the correct answer. Whoa. So the correct answer here is Victoria Falls. And then after that, I'm going to put a comma, 
And in speech marks, I'm going to put what I'm going to say if I get it right. So I'm just going to say correct. You guys can be invented if you want to. And on the next one, incorrect. And then I close my brackets. And I'll hit enter, except the moment's incorrect because I haven't written an answer. But if I type in Victoria Falls, it's now correct. Hopefully that's all you need to know and you're going to be able to create a really cool quiz. If you get to the end and everyone's finished and you've got a little bit of time, obviously then you can try out each other's quizzes. Okay, have a great Easter. I'll see you when I get back.